I will be trying something new. So instead of only showing you how to do tutorials for certain songs, I'm going to do essentially a Guagong Gong boot camp where I'll be showing you lots of variations with two, three, and four different congas. Welcome everyone to Alabanza de Fuego. My name is Jake. Please click the like and subscribe buttons. I will be introducing a new series of Wang Wang Go. This is from Cuba. Most of these videos will probably have two variations per video so as not to overwhelm, but also to give everyone time to practice and to fine tune their skills for playing the different rhythms, whether it's for two, three, or four congas. I have designed these courses to focus on two, then three, then four congas, so as to match your skill level and to also match how many congas that you currently have. Each video in the series will be numbered so that you can follow along as you progress. This first video will be the introduction to Guaguang Go and where they came from. This is one style of rumba, but there are several others, including Yambu, Colombia, Guanganco, and then some newer ones like Bata Rumba and Grada Pachagüeyo. So for the Guanganco, there's two main substyles, and that's one from Havana and the other from Matanzas. Those are both named after the two largest cities in Cuba. There's also a third style of from Santiago, but I won't go into that too much. Uh, but really, the, the most popular that you hear in most pop songs is from Havana, and then followed by the Matanza style. Before we get to play the different styles, we need to talk about clave. So there's really two main rhythms, and that's either 3-2 or 2-3 on how you play it. And the first is what we call son clave. And so I'm going to show it on the screen as well. And I have claves, and how we play that is, so if we go one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two, three. The other main rhythm is in two, three for son clave. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and... Now I'm going to show you the rumba clave, which is a little bit different by one note, and it's typically played in 3-2, but sometimes in 2-3. And so what it is, instead of, so with the 3 beat, instead of the 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, you actually play on the and of 4. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3. So to start that again, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Playing that in 2, 3, rumba clave. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Guanganco was originally played with three drummers. You had the Salador, which would be our tumba now, Tres Golpes, which would be the conga, and then the quinto, which is the same name as the quinto. Obviously, we're going to be showing you how to play it with one drummer, but traditionally it was three different drummers with three different drums. Originally, the rumba was played on wooden boxes in three different sizes. And so this is because the dock workers on the water they would have the crates from the different shipping, and so that's what they originally played with, and that's where it was developed. The Matanza style is generally more sparse without as many accents versus the Havana style. They'll have like a double open tone, which you'll hear in the different examples. <laughs> 